Good afternoon or morning again, everyone, and welcome to the final installment of our Radi Radar Scope Lunch and Learn series. My name is Marcus Hicks, and I'll be your moderator again today. I'd like to introduce Daphne Thompson, who, as you may remember, heads up our meteorological outreach. And Daphne will be presenting today's Radar Scope Base versus Pro topic. And at the end, I'll tell you more about weather decision technologies and what drives us and show you some of our globally recognized brands. So please stay for the entire presentation today. Now, as a radar scope user, you are part of a community that has more than 300,000 super users globally. Visit our Facebook page and interact with super users. But that's not the only app that we make, and it's not the only thing that we do. So again, please stay through the end of today's presentation so you don't miss out. I'm now going to turn this over to Daphne Thompson. She holds a degree in meteorology from the University of Oklahoma and brings to WDT a deep pool of knowledge. Her previous experience includes working with the National Weather Center, developing public programming, including K through 12 informal science programs, public outreach activities, and all tours at the National Weather Center. She's also worked at the, Nas the Norman Emergency Management Office and the National Weather Service. Daphne serves in the meteorological outreach capacity for WDT. Daphne, you now have the audience. Thank you, Marcus. Today we're going to be talking about Radar Scope Pro. The Pro version has some extras that you aren't seeing if you just have regular Radar Scope. I'll be showing you lightning information, the dual pane view, and how to have the ability to have longer loops. I will also answer a few questions we regularly get that is useful to all users. We'll finish with a review of the past few lessons. Remember, if you have any questions along the way, just type them into your go-to meeting box and we'll answer them at the end of today's webinar. Let's first review how to subscribe to Pro. If you don't already have it, that is. I'll first show you how to do it on iOS and then next show you on Android. Step one is to tap the gear button. Then you need to make sure that Pro is selected. If you haven't purchased it, the amount of $9.99 will show up in the top right corner. Tap on that to purchase, and then make sure you register the app with an email that you regularly use. If you need to restore the app on a new device, just click the Restore button. You will get a prompt asking for your email address. It will then send you an email with a link. Tap on that within your new advice, and your pro version will be available. And if you're ever wondering when your subscription expires, you'll find it right here. A pro subscription is good for a year. There are fewer steps to purchase Pro on Android. The Google Play Store will display Pro as an in-app purchase. After purchasing Radar Scope, open the navigation drawer and, and select Subscribe here. You will then have this view. Make sure you select Pro on the menu then you will have the option to purchase it. If you want to later check when your subscription expires, the date will show up in the navigation drawer. If you get a new Android phone, you can just log into the Google Play Store and to restore your purchase. And by the way, we get this question a lot. If you own an Android phone and an iPad, you must purchase RadarScope on both platforms. Some have asked why we charge $10 for the regular app and then an additional $10 for a yearly subscription to Pro. Well, running an app like this isn't cheap. Extra bandwidth is needed to get out the large amount of data that we have. Lightning data isn't free. Plus, all the data you receive has to be processed, displayed properly across all platforms. Our radar scope group is dedicated to getting you the best product. When you ask for a new feature, they work hard to get it to you. It really is a team effort here at WDT with multiple other employees assisting with data and support. We all work together to make sure you are happy with our products. So let's talk about the advantages of lightning data now. In order to get lightning data, we utilize information from Earth networks. They have over 1,200 sensors located in more than 40 countries. This is the same provider that the National Weather Service uses. When lightning strikes, 
it emits a pulse of energy that is received by lightning detection antennas. The data is then processed to figure out exactly where it occurred. Here in the US, over 20 people are killed and many more are injured by lightning every year. RadarScope Pro displays cloud to ground strikes. These are the ones most apt to kill or injure people. It is not unusual for storms to start producing more lightning as it becomes severe. Here you can see multiple tornadic storms with a lot of lightning. Even that small storm northwest of Greensburg, Kansas is producing lightning. You may also notice that some strikes are transparent looking. Strikes are plotted as white and slowly become transparent over a 30 minute time period. A strike older than this will no longer be visible. As I've mentioned, lightning kills and injures people every year. If you are using your app to figure out when the storm will get to you or your child's soccer game, then you really need lightning data. Reflectivity alone isn't always the best tool. Here we see some very heavy rain around 30 miles from Fort Worth. But check out these lightning strikes. There are a few occurring over 25 miles from the heaviest part of the storm. If you hear thunder, you need to be inside. Having the data that shows you that bolts are striking far in advance may allow you to seek protection earlier. Then we felt a great disturbance in the force as if a million voices suddenly cried out for a dual pane view. Yeah, I think dual pane is pretty cool because in the past, if there was an interesting storm, you would pull up the reflectivity image, then switch to the velocity image, then back again to see if the signatures were connected and made sense. Our customers asked if it was possible to see both images at the same time, and our radar scope team made it happen. Now our pro version contains a dual pane view. Whether you want to check out the strong winds in an approaching severe storm, or look at a tornado vortex signature in a hook echo, you can do so on the same screen. If you're looking at reflectivity mode and click on the dual pane icon, the second pane will always show velocity. But don't feel like you are limited. You can call up any two fields you want to view together. Not only can you, can you view two different products together, you can also animate them. Check this out. I think you can learn more about how a storm is behaving by looking at a dual pane loop. I'll play it again so you get another look at it and how the products work together. By the way, if that video didn't work well for you due to a slow connection, this lesson is being recorded and you will have the chance to view it again later. My final section today is about longer loops and more. In the more portion, I'll be answering questions that we regularly get about radar scope in general and pointing out a few features that you may not know about. Radar scope allows you to choose your data source. You can pick either NOAA or WDT as your provider. When choosing WDT as your provider, you can loop six images for any product in regular radar scope. Choosing NOAA lets you choose 20 frames to view, but you can only select base reflectivity or velocity. You cannot see our super res images. With Radar Scope Pro, you have the option to choose loops with 20 frames of our super res data. Let's compare the two loops. Here we have only six frames. And now let's look at 20 frames. Let's 
watch two videos side by side of the same storm. On the left, we can only see six animated frames. On the right, Radar Scope Pro is showing us how 20 animated frames look. Let's see that again. You can see how it really makes a difference if you're interested in storm development. The sweep may be gone, but we've replaced it with this awesome inspector tool. There's no more guessing on what the strongest areas are in the storm. Available only in Pro, you can use this to find out what the exact reflectivity levels are and check wind speeds in the velocity data. Pretty much any data field we have, you can now inspect closer using this tool. The next things I'll talk about are not specific to Pro. These are a few features people may not know about. First off is the video scrubber. Have you ever animated data and wanted to slow it down or look at a specific frame? It's possible. Just tap play, and once you have the animation going, tap the button again, and keep your finger there until this bar shows up. Now you can slide your finger up and down the bar to view individual frames. Want to add your home or business to radar scope so you know exactly where the storm is in regards to you? I'll show you how to do it on both iOS and Android. For an Apple product, here's how it works. First off, go to the radar that shows a map with an area of the location you want to add. Tap the name of the radar until this window opens up. Make sure locations is highlighted. Then tap Add Location. The Add Location window will show up. Now just type the address you want into this box and hit Enter. Okay, we have our address there, but I don't really want my location labeled like this. I want to give it a nickname. So I'm going to tap on the little I or information icon, and then I'm going to tap on the title and enter my nickname and rename the location. I'm renaming this to where I work. Okay, so I've got WDT in now instead of an address. If I go back to my main image, there it is. You can see it labeled now. Adding a location on Android is pretty similar, but let's walk through the process. Open up your navigation drawer and tap on radars and locations. You'll get a window that looks like this. Make sure locations is underlined, then tap Add location. You'll type in the address here. I've typed it in now, and a selection has popped up that's a little more accurate. So I'm going to select that. Okay, now I've got my location saved, but again, I want to give it a nickname. Okay, I've renamed it now to WDT, where I'm work. So let's make sure it shows up. And again, there it is. If you ever want to share your radar scope images on social media, we've got that feature built right into the app. There's no need to do a screen capture. Again, I'll show you how to do it first on iOS and then on Android. Here's an image I'd like to share. First, I'm going to click on the share symbol. And now I've got a few things I can do with my image, but right now I want to tweet it. Notice how not only has the data field filled in automatically, but also the proper state hashtag is showing. You can also tweet animated GIFs once you have hit play and have a loop running. Just tap on the movie sharing icon. Your device will take a moment to capture the images in your loop. And now you have the option to either save it or tweet your animation. Sharing with an Android varies just a bit. Here we have the same image that we want to share. Tap on the share icon. And now you have a number of different options, but I want to tweet this. 
Again, the data field automatically filled in and you can now easily tweak your radar scope image. By the way, have you found our help menus yet? If you ever want more details about the products you're viewing, this is a quick way to find out. The basic steps are to first click on the gear, make sure you have help highlighted, and tap on the user's guide. Then tap on radar products and choose whichever product you are interested in learning more about. And you'll get a short synopsis about what you're viewing. I appreciate you all joining me to learn more about Radar Scope through these four webinars. We've covered quite a bit of information over the past few weeks. Remember, these are all recorded and you can look back at them at any time. And if you've had any questions along the way, we will be answering them at the end of the webinar. Let's now briefly review some of the major points we've touched on in this series. Reflectivity displays the amount of power returned when the beam reflects off particles in the atmosphere, such as raindrops. As a radar rotates, it elevates. This gives us various tilts. Radar scope lets you look at four different tilts of data. A line of pixels is called a radial. Pixels get wider as they get further away from the storm. Be aware that places showing smooth data give you a false view of the storm. The super res reflectivity the super res reflectivity data found in radar scope is true high resolution radar data and is not smooth. Reflectivity data is great for viewing storms, but it also shows non-weather phenomena like bugs, bats, and even smoke. Velocity data is displayed in shades of red and green. Green colors tell us that those particles are moving towards the radar. The red signifies particles moving away from the radar. Red and green pixels that are close to each other can signal rotation in the storm. We call this a tornado vortex signature, or TVS. You can use radar scope inspector tool to check wind speeds, and if you add those wind speeds together, it can give you an idea as to how strong the rotation is in the storm. The couplet here shows an area of rotation that would be considered a tornado vortex signature. The majority of tornadoes in the United States rotate cyclonically or counterclockwise. A TVS doesn't mean a tornado is on the ground because visual confirmation is still needed. And while many of us only turn to velocity products to look for a TVS in a storm, you can view a variety of weather phenomena using velocity data. Numerous people are killed or injured yearly by lightning. Radar, Radar Scope Pro allows you to see exactly where lightning is occurring. By displaying cloud to ground strikes, you can be better prepared to seek shelter when a thunderstorm is near. With dual pane, there's no need to go back and forth between reflectivity and velocity data. Now you can see both at the same time. The ability to loop two fields of data can give you a better under understanding of the storm. With the inspector tool, there's no more guessing about the data you are viewing. Now you can find out exactly how strong that reflectivity image or how fast that radar says the winds are blowing in the velocity data. If you like watching how a storm is evolving, then you really need Radar Scope Pro. It offers you a chance to animate up to 20 frames. Without Pro, you can only view six frames. There really are a lot of advantages to getting Pro. It costs less than a single large pizza. It can last for an entire year. Try it and see what you think. I'm gonna hand this presentation back over to Marcus now. Thank you, Daphne, for putting together and presenting this fantastic series. And we're looking over everyone's questions and we'll get those addressed at the very end. Now, in the previous lessons, I've talked about our weather ops solution and our SkyWise data, and of course you already know about radar scope. But as I said before, that's not all we do. And so I'd like to quickly spotlight some of those proven brands and tell you a little bit about the force behind them. Now, all of us here at WDT hold true to our mission each and every day. 
That mission is clear. With our innovative products, expert services, and industry experience, we can guide our clients through any type of storm. Weather decision technology founders have always been at the forefront of weather detection. First serving the public, leading the National Severe Storms Laboratory, developing advanced algorithms, and developing advanced applications on the next rad radar system. Since founding Weather Decision Technologies, they have continued to provide cutting edge, tech, cutting edge technology and life-saving weather decision support, and is proud to be the industry leader. We provide those advancements across the globe in various industries, such as oil and gas, power and water utilities, emergency management, aviation, healthcare, live events, hospitality, and even retail. We've also brought that same technology to consumers who have recognized the need to have advanced life-saving information that empowers them to keep their friends and family safe from dangerous weather. Now, whether you're scanning reflectivity for the telltale hook echo or trying to pinpoint landfall of a hurricane's eyewall, or maybe you're looking for micro features like velocity couplets in the storm, Radar Scope gives you the power to view true radial super resolution next rad radar weather. It's all here, and you can view the latest reflectivity, the velocity products, dual polarization, and any of the other products that are offered by the NEXRAD or TDWR radar sites. And those sites can be located in the US, Guam, Puerto Rico, or South Korea. In this webinar, you've also learned that smooth radar is for amateurs. RadarScope is the only mobile app that uses native radar data that's rendered in its original radio format, providing you the highest level, or in our case, super resolution of detail available from the WSR88Ds and TDWR radar sites. And we like to keep things clean. And so with the latest upgrade to RadarScope, we've cleaned things up considerably, making product selection and tilts a breeze. We promise to keep improving. And don't keep all of that awesome weather to yourself. Share it with your friends on social media, text, email, and more. There's a large community of RadarScope users on Facebook and share that and learn every day. If you are not part of that community, you really should be. With our SkyWise data, we empower web, mobile, GIS, SAS, and common operating picture developers, along with data scientists with the ability to tap into a substantial catalog of weather analytics and information that they use to integrate within their own products. Through a combination of cloud-based APIs, software development kits, Esri Web Services, Gridded, and Point data sets, you can incorporate past, present, and future weather information and analytics into any project. This data includes global content from radar, satellite, current conditions, forecast modeling, lightning, hail, tornadoes, ocean data, and much, much more. We also are the only company that offers 24-hour support for these applications, 24-7, 365. So if you ever have issues or troubles with your system, you simply send a help message to support and they'll get you taken care of. Now, Weather Radio is quite simply the only weather radio alert app that you'll ever need. Weather Radio leverages features already in your smartphone or tablet to provide unique life-saving information. You can obtain more accurate alerts than those offered by typical consumer alerting services thanks to WDT's patented alerting engine. Weather Radio will alert you if you are in an area where a wet, uh, weather watcher warning is issued without having you, to do, having you do anything, such as add additional locations as you move around. You may also save up to five fixed locations in addition to your current position. That allows you to monitor the weather where your friends and family are. Weather Radio provides immediate audio alerts in the forms of beeps, followed by, by a brief description of the alert type. And you can quickly reference where you are in relation to adverse weather, utilizing the in-app radar mapping capability that features a watch and warning overlay. And with this app, you can also view, view localized streaming video of severe weather coverage for up to the minute information directly from within the app. As a decision maker, you can never have too much information, but having the right information is what truly makes a difference. Our weather ops solutions bridges 
information and timing gaps by providing critical information, regardless of geographical location, to your key personnel within the organization, utilizing the best, method, best methods of delivery, such as email, text messaging, or mobile device push. This platform is backed by our experienced team of forecasters, helping you better plan and prepare for weather that could disrupt your business and or threaten the safety of your personnel. Now, Weather Decisions Technologies employs the largest staff of advanced degree professionals in the industry, with 10% of them holding PhDs, 36% with masters, 50% with bachelors, and 62 meteorologists. I can tell you, we know the weather. WDT also owns and licenses 59 patents covering alert, uh, alerting, dual pole radar, and there's, no, there's a guarantee of no interruption of service. There's 300 terabyte of archived data with 700 gigabyte of new data added daily. We serve up over 1 billion tiles with a 12 millisecond response time. Lastly, we care. We care about our clients, their projects, and the customers they serve. With weather dominating the news, and for good reason, individuals are being injured or losing their lives and businesses of any type can be affected. Minimizing that risk is the most important task for any organization or consumer. And while global markets cannot necessarily be predicted, weather can. And having a partner like WDT that has proven solutions and experience is like having your very own meteorolo meteorology department, but far more cost efficient. All of that weather data that you would ever need can come directly from us. And much of the weather data that you receive today does come from us. And so you'll want to give me a call and learn more about how we can uh, talk about what types of services and information we can provide to your own company.